Hello everybody and welcome back to Construction Simulator. So I'm still aiming to complete all of the first contracts um, in the campaigns. So today I think it's going to be the final of the first ones, if you know what I mean. So I'll just show you very quickly. Um, yes, jobs, campaign. So we've done the first one in prestige projects. That was closing the gap, so building a road. Um, we've done the path that we had to build last week, the forest path, to access the... Uh, historical site and we've done the sound noise disturbance baffle thing uh, which we did a couple of weeks ago so we now just have the one for renewable energies which is peaceful greenery an old dilapidated building in a residential area is the cause of unrest among the residents they want a family-friendly park with green areas and a playground instead so we need to basically meet the uh, client um, bit of crane work to begin with Nice. Uh, then we have the construction preparation, which involves many, many things. Uh, gravel, planting pit, all that sort of stuff, seedlings. So um, yeah, it seems like a bigger job than last week, much bigger in fact. So let's just accept it. We need to get cracking with this. I'm going to be renting quite a few machines. And this is the place. So yeah, it's looking, well, a bit grim actually. So we've got some scrap cars in there and a load of debris. Hello. Let's speak with the environmental officer. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm the city's environmental officer. This city could really use someone who jumps into the action and just does the right thing. Maybe you noticed the dilapidated building that used to be here until recently. For years, it had been close to collapsing. It was contaminated with asbestos. The residents are so relieved that the thing is finally gone. Your task is to integrate the former wasteland into the surrounding parkland. Well, I'm sure we can do that. Yeah, so basically, we've just got to make this look like what's behind. A nice park. Definitely need trees and stuff. Um, right, so we've got to remove some debris. The wrecked cars, the broken sewer element, and the destroyed road section. So it did suggest a crane for this, so that's what we'll do, we'll get a crane. I will probably go for this exact crane. Okay, here we are with the crane. I'm hoping that just by positioning myself, well about here, we're going to be able to reach everything, we certainly should be able to reach everything. So we'll uh, get things set up. Okay. Yeah, I always enjoy using the crane. Now really it should be set up fully, I think. Um, but it's such a tight area. It makes you think that you could probably move these things with a wheel loader. Okay, so we'll just move the first one in real time and then we'll time up the rest. We've got lots to do today. Let's pick this car up. And now it flies. Whee! Right, yeah, so we can certainly reach everything, no problem at all. The cars are going closest to us. And it's not like we even have to be careful with these things because they're already destroyed. Which makes it easy for me. Right, I will see you when the place is much neater. Okay, and the final piece. It is looking much better. Good. So, I don't think there's anything else. Nope. So we just need to wait for the next job, I suppose. Flatten the area. This area here. 
that's most likely going to involve a bulldozer but before we do anything with the crane I need to make sure that we don't need it again so let's just take a quick look here it seems like it might be used for material delivery yeah I, I think probably the crane on our own lorry should be fine so let's get that returned always fun using it return good so we used to have the uh, backhoe loader which is going to be handy in the future later on in this job but yeah now we need the bulldozer i think actually because we do have quite a bit more money now and the bulldozer is used in nearly every single job it would be worth buying it that is of course unless it's really expensive uh the one which would make sense to go for is this one here the case because it is i think the cheapest yeah so we'll go with that purchase nice let's get these areas flattened so it looks like it's pretty much symmetrical both sides are the same let's get our dozer blade down and I think this is fast when I've done flattening jobs before it's always been really fast oh except for that one time when I couldn't get it to get to 100% well I did eventually but it was tricky to get it to 100%. I don't think I was doing the job properly. I might not be doing this job properly either. They probably want me to sort of push the soil out of the marking. It's 50%. Oh no, that shot up. Already 95% from there. Uh, right, so that, that is very easy. Just go back up once more and that'll be done. There we go. Uh, raise the dozer blade. And we'll do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to come over here with the grader. Because I think we have to do some ripping. This setup must be all of its GPS and everything. I think we do just want the ripping part on the back for now. Uh, now I don't know how to use just the ripper, so we'll have to figure it out. I'll just use the arrows first of all. Okay, let's put the grader down. So if I open up the F menu, you can see we do have lower and lift. I'm guessing, yep, that's what we're looking for. Brilliant. I'm not too sure if they do want the dozer blade down. I don't think they do. This is a compacted area. It must be where the building used to be. And it lets me go very fast with that too. Interesting. Oh yes, that's ripping well. Well, instead of raising it every time, I'll just keep it down. I'm amazed how fast this will go. Also, I feel like I've gone for a machine that's a bit big. I'm not too sure if there was an alternative. I think all I could see. Okay. That is the ripping done. We shall raise it up. Now we need to excavate this area here. Again, I don't know excavators. We don't have an excavator. We do have the backhoe. It probably would allow me to use the backhoe. Hmm. Interestingly, for the excavation, it does actually have the dozers in there as well. So I will try and do whatever it wants me to do with the dozer, but I would expect to have to go and get an excavator. This is interesting. Because we don't actually own an excavator, and it would be really good to own an excavator. Oh, it is. It's working. Oh, it's digging deep, too. 
Well, that's really good. That saved us lots of money. And it means that buying this makes it even more worthwhile. Okay. And yeah, just turning the steering wheel without pressing the pedals makes the machine turn a lot faster. Done. Well, we're getting through these jobs very quickly. It looks like we're just making a mess currently, but, well, <laughs> it, we must be uh, making progress. And now we have this area over here. With that done, it's time to jump into our lorry because we have to go and pick up uh, concrete bags, concrete fr uh, formwork, PVC pipes and rebar mesh. So we're really starting with the concreting. That is good. Right. My lorry. Let's fast travel to the lorry, which will be over here. 68% maintenance, well, health of the vehicle, uh, which is fine. And we need to get over to the building material yard, which is literally just next door. And I'm not going to go all the way down to that roundabout to come back, hopefully. I think it's assuming I'm going to go out of the other gate. Which I'm not going to do. Having said this, I do need to remember which way to go. I think turn right. And then turn left. There it is. Do we need diesel? No, we're doing all right. Okay. So it should already tell us what we need. Yep, we've got that one there. This one here. Um, three of... Oh, we need them later. Three of those. And these two. I guess it would make sense to take the saplings now, because we might as well. It saves time. Pretty sure they're for the end. Uh, check out. Deliver to yard. Of course, they didn't actually put it into the um, into the box. Still not enough space. Okay, we'll just put them here then. Let's hope we can get these in. If not, we can always use the flatbed. We do own the flatbed now, which is nice. Uh, let's just see. Uh, I think we probably will be able to. It might let us stack as well, which would be uh, a big help. I think probably if I go par well parallel to the rebar
Okay, here we are. For some reason at the end there, my steering has gone funny. I don't know if I've run over something slippery. Weird. Right, so I'm going to unload it again with that lorry. Use the crane on there. And I think it was worth it putting the uh, saplings on here as well. Hopefully I've got everything that we need now. But this is turning out to be a big, big job. <laughs> so, uh, actually I think we need a cement mixer as well. There is lots to do. Okay, that should be okay. Oh, running around crazily. And now, to get things unloaded. Finally the pipes, and we'll leave the saplings where they are. Good. So now we just need to clear the marked area. Which is, I'm literally only just in it. Ah, the trailer's in it. Typical. Only just. Arguably it's not in it, but anyway, <laughs> we'll just move it. Um, so I need to place the PVC pipe. Clearly a lot of uh, crane work is in order. Let's just have a quick update on what we actually have to do here. So it's just placing the PVC pipe, um, unpacking stuff, concreting, topsoil removal. Actually there's loads to do still. So I'm going to split this over two episodes, like I did with the... well. The, uh, which one was it? The, um, the sound baffle. And it actually did take two full episodes in the end. At least it's now getting light. Oh, this one's doing the same thing with the steering. I think it must get on a slippery bit or something. Here's our first piece. Now, it's perfectly doable, I think, with this, but it would have been easier with the actual crane. Okay, so we've just got to get all of these into the right place. It looks like just two to begin with. Just these two. Okay, and it's done the rest for us. Clear the marked area. Just back out of there. And now unpack the construction materials. This would be a job to do by hand. I love that it animates that. Oh, good grief. That was a rapid transformation. If only unwrapping the materials in real life actually completed the entire thing, <laughs> that would be brilliant. Uh, so yeah, we obviously need to pour concrete into here. I'm guessing? Must be. Um, so that's gonna involve a cement mixer. I've gone for the Scania, it looks good. Um, so yes, I'm looking for concrete. Which one of these is concrete? This one may well be concrete. It is. And if it's not, I'm putting something funny in my cement mixer. Good. And now, back to the job site. It's a bit of a drive. We're 46% completed, which is perfect, because then when we get to 50% we can finish the episode and then do the other 50% next time, whenever that may be. So we need to, first of all, 
Put the chute on. Hopefully that is sufficient. And I think, start pouring. Uh, it's Actually, I think, yeah, this is enough. But, just to make this a bit more thorough, we won't put it all in one place. Because that's just going to give somebody a really hard job raking it, trying to level it off. We will try and pour it evenly. Okay, that should be good. I hope my trees are okay, they're going to have to stay on there for a little while. Something very satisfying about pouring concrete. Okay, and we're obviously going to have to go over there just to do that final bit. Should be able to just pour from the side. Alright, that should be good enough. If it will reach. And there we go. Yeah, really professional. Ah, it's going everywhere. But we certainly had enough in the lorry. It's still very, very full. And that's 100%. And now it's cured. So now we need to clear the construction site of everything by the look of it. Um, don't want to clear something that we do need, though. What is it that we need next? So we need the lorry for gravel delivery. We need the backhoe. Obviously we need them. So... Yeah, well that can be returned. And let's just see here. Yeah, everything else can, well, nearly everything else can go back to the depot. This can obviously be returned. I'll just pop everything on the roadside for now. The trees are having a fun day out. And that is the construction site cleared. So that is pretty much 50%. Next job is to remove the topsoil. Um, I do feel that we've probably done more than 50% though, because sometimes it just jump. But this is what we're doing next time, removing this topsoil. That's progress. So obviously when we, when we turned up earlier, it was yesterday now, um, we had all that scrap, which has been taken away. And now it's slowly transforming into a beautiful park so yeah we'll get it finished next time thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it and until then see you again soon bye for now